Welcome to another MTD CNC Technical Corner. Now today we're going to be talking about the challenges faced by manufacturers when they're trying to use a CAD system to, to actually make products like you see in front of me. Dave, what challenges are these manufacturing, manufacturers facing? Yeah, Ron, um, nowadays at most companies work to solid models. Um, them solid models can come in a varying formats. There's a lot of different CAD systems out there. And so by using Designer, which is our uh, CAD for CAM, you can bring a, a file in from anywhere, like any CAD system. We can bring a file in, we can open it in Designer, we can interrogate the, that model. And then if you want to do any changes to that model, you want to modify, you want to create fixtures around the model, um, we can do that in Designer. And you've had a lot of experience with people who are moving from parametric to direct modeling. What's the, what's the change process like? Yeah, it can be a little bit daunting at first when you've used a, a parametric system for years and to switch to direct modeling needs a, a different mindset. Um, just doing some training yesterday as it happens with a guy. And once um, you get the, your head around just creating a solid and then moving the solid to the model and uh, cutting material away using that solid uh, or adding material, um, that's the sort of key to it. It's, it's, but it's a, diff, a very different mindset to how you would go about uh, doing the constraint type thing. But the beauty of it is you can't break the model. You, you, got, you don't have a history tree. So if I wanted to make a change to a model, um, you don't get any of them red crosses appearing in the history tree when you've made a mistake. You just can't do it. Designer might not let you do something because it's impossible, but it'll not let you break a model. Brilliant. Let you do anything as long as it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And what I find fascinating as well is, is people are making really complex components that have a lot of different operations. The final model that gets designed that comes in from a big customer with the final model, that's not what you need. What you need is for every operation, you need an inter, uh, you need like a stop model for each operation, you need a fixture for each operation, maybe even a stage drawing. Yeah. Um, how does designer help with producing those? Yeah, again, the total flexibility in it, you can do anything you want. Um, we use a lot for creating fixtures. Uh, you might want to create a stock model around a casting or something like that. Uh, you might want to add some tooling tags, like something like this component here with the tooling lugs on there. So all of that can be incorporated into the process using Designer. It's very quick and very easy to, to get up and run on it as well. You know, it's very intuitive and easy to learn. Absolutely. And manufacturers nowadays are trying to move to be more kind of more generalist to stay competitive. And to offer a full service to the customers, they might need to offer some, e some EDM, some sync EDM, and they might need to offer some sheet metal services. How can designer help with manufacturers who are moving into those new style of services? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a, it's a 3D modeling package, but we do have extra modules. I don't know whether you can see this on the screen, but we've got specific modules for creating electrodes automatically. Um, sheet metal work, as you mentioned there, if you've got a sheet metal assembly, we can create a bill of materials, we can unfold all the sheets uh, and then transport it into your CAM system for, uh, for laser cutting or whatever it might be. Absolutely. And what's also important for some people is once you've got the, the, the model and the stage drawings put together, you know how you're going to manufacture it, it's actually programming the component. Now, Designer is not a CAM system, it doesn't do the programming, but there are some really solid CAM products provided by Hexagon. How does it interoperate with those? Yeah, um, Designer uh, has uh, links with all Hexagon uh, CAM software. You see the little icon there, send to CAM. Once you've got your, your model set up with the fixture and stock and everything, you just click on that button, it'll send it directly into the CAM system. Um, and it also keeps the link with the CAD. So if you make any modifications to the CAD model, that also goes through into the CAM uh, and, the, and the tool pass will be updated automatically around that, that model. So yeah, it's, uh, like I say, it's, it's designed for the CAM world really. It's got all the tools for your production engineer you know, to, to, get the, uh, to get the model onto the machine and get some tool pass on as quick as possible really. Absolutely, and, and that's gonna definitely save time when customers are trying to produce these models quickly, which is important for subcontractors. So also we have the reverse engineering link as well. Uh, it's another module and that is our link to the metrology side of the Hexagon business. This is where we can uh, scan a component directly into designer, comes in here as a point cloud uh, and then we can manipulate the point cloud, turn it into a mesh and then take a mesh and create a, a true solid model from that, which allows you to take it into your cam world again and machine the part. And once someone starts to use designer and gets used to a certain workflow, they kind of become like a power user. How can you make sure that they can continue to save time and money while using the software? Yeah, designer comes with um, automation. Um, you can record 
your actual clicks on the screen using uh, macros and um, this creates javascript files basically which you can link together you can link it's an excel spreadsheet so you can just literally input data into a spreadsheet and get a model out the other end um, or this actually um, this part that's just come on screen here you can load um, all the components automatically using these this sort of these macros these javascript mac macros as well so yeah it it can greatly reduce the the time taken and you can see the speed in setup here is literally picking a number of components and they'll populate that fixture automatically so yeah great savings in time uh, to be had by using the, the automation there as well absolutely for subcontractors it's really important to be saving time and money when you're doing those those awkward programming jobs just for a 10 off of a, of a component it's the monotonous jobs you know the, when you're you know drilling holes and you know loading fixtures it's monotonous you want to be able to just click a couple of buttons and it does it there straight away there for you automatically that's that's the benefit the beauty of it yeah absolutely so helping kind of the low batch and one-offs to be almost as quick as a as a thousand off in terms of programming time and and jobs that you're getting used to. So that's, right. that's CAD for manufacturers. Make sure you check out Designer from Hexagon. And so how can people get in contact and find out more about the, the product these days? Yeah, just the usual route run, hexagon.com. You'll find all the information on there. Please give us a call.